Hey there, welcome back to Yogi One. I'm Debbie Steingesser, joined today in the mobility lab of San Francisco CrossFit by our new friend, the Skull Kettlebell. He or she doesn't have a name yet, so feel free to submit any suggestions you may have. We're open. Um, so today we're talking about balancing as a skill. Coach Greg Glassman, founder, creator of CrossFit, um, he outlines balance as one of the 10 main points of fitness in the CrossFit handbook. And it's really important, I find a lot with um, any Olympic lifting, kind of the top of the jerk, finding your feet on the ground. And if you can find balance on one leg, it's so much easier to find on two legs. So what we're doing today is working with one of my favorite um, yoga poses, it's called Half Moon. Really simple one-legged balancing pose. Traditionally this pose, the fingertips are on the ground and the leg is in the air, but a lot of times people have tighter quads, hamstrings, it's not possible to get fingertips on the ground, maybe even shorter arms. So what you can do is you can place, if you have a skull kettlebell, go for it by all means. It's about six inches in front of your baby toe and a little bit off to the left. You're just gonna hold on to the kettlebell, lift your back leg up at about a 90 degree angle. Am I at 90, David? Okay, cool, 90 degree angle. Reach your right arm to the sky, turn your chest open, and then eventually maybe start to look up. If your balance feels shaky, if you're falling all over, look down at your kettlebell. Don't pick up the kettlebell and swing it in this position, not advice. You can also catch your back foot if you wanna impress your friends with your really open quads and take it into a little bit of a back bend. So it can then become a balancing pose, quad stretch, back bend, kind of a combo platter of all balancing poses and then repeat on the other side and just remember to breathe again um, this idea of drishti and yoga is picking a center point to focus on so if you start to lose your balance then just stay connected look at the veins on the skull's head you'll be good to go namaste bitches